is going on, Fox fans? Joe here, of course, from X Fox Games. You know, we we love modding our blasters, right? Or, or, or really, who doesn't? Who doesn't like to kind of mod their blaster to make it shoot maybe a little bit quicker, maybe a little bit faster, a little bit straighter? And there are some iconic blasters that we have like that, right? It is the Nerf Jolt. It comes in all different kinds of color schemes and yeah. And you know, these things are super cheap. I, I mean, I think these things in the store are like $1.99, maybe like $2.99, some right? So they're really cheap. And you know, I love these things because you can just grab them, shoot around the yard, shoot around the house. And they're just real easy kind of to function. You just pull it, you put in a, put in a dart and you shoot it. And you know, it got me thinking, why don't we upgrade one of these just to see it? I, I, I know these things have been out for years. There's a thousand and one modification videos out there, but I figured, you know what? I'm gonna take you along my journey to modifying one of these by just kind of, you know, removing as much as I can of the air restrictor and then upgrading the spring. What can we get this thing to? And I've seen some people trying to fit a K26 in here and I think it was just too much. I, they were shooting so fast it, and blowing heads off darts. I was like, yeah, let me tone it back. So. Uh, I believe I got a K19 or K18 or K20. It was supposed to be two and a half times what the stock is. So all said and done, it said I should shoot, shoot around 90 FPS. And I was like, okay, that, that's not bad. 90 to 95, that's like a rival, right? So I went ahead and took my Jolt here. And uh, again, you guys can check out the spring. I'll pull it up here. We got this thing and it was super cheap. I think it was on eBay or it was Etsy, one of the two. I think it was like two bucks. You know, it was almost as much as the blaster, but I figured we got to do this, right? We, everybody has these jolts laying around the house. So I want to quickly go over some of the stuff that, that we used for this. You don't need all of these tools, but I just kind of want to go over it so you can kind of get prepared if you want to do this. Now, again, you guys may have better ways to upgrade your jolt. And if you do, leave it in the comments because I'm curious on how, you know, you guys modified your jolts because I've seen a lot of you guys do it. So you can see here, yes, we got double jolts that we are, we're going to modify one of them. And then the other one we'll kind of use as a reference so you guys can see. We got some new silicone lubricant because you're gonna probably need to re-silicone the inside after you're digging around and everything. We got needle nose, we got some clippers. Now, I didn't need these snips uh, and I'll tell you why in a sec here. We got uh, a wrench you could use, just a, a manual one. I always love my, yes, my skills automatic ones, great. Now, we use the Dremel tool and we're gonna tell you why here in a second. And then of course, yes, the trusty old chronograph just to double check your results. Now, some of you guys are saying, man, that's a lot of parts. You're right. And for some of them, you don't need. The reason why we use the Dremel is because, and I'm going to pull it up here. Uh, when you're modifying the Nerf Jolt, you're going to notice that the actual plunger assembly, it has a pressed fit top on there. And if you take that off, it, it just doesn't want to sit back on the top. You actually have to get a screw and you know lock it all the way down. So we went ahead and actually just cut the spring itself. That way, the spring itself, when you cut it, I mean, you're not going to reuse it unless you want to shoot 30 FPS. So we went ahead and just cut the spring so you can just twist it off and twist the new one right back on. Super simple. That way, you don't got to go to the store or go find a screw that you want to screw in on the top. Now, again, you know, four or five different things you can use. Not too many. Completely up to you. So let's get into this. So I'm going to pull this here up on the screen and kind of show you again my Nerf and the plunger assembly. I'll show you again right there where I went ahead and cut, you know, just cut the spring off, kind of showed you half of it. And it's super easy to, you know, to modify. I mean, there's really only four screws <laughs> on the bottom of this thing. You just pop off those four screws, get the spring off. You want to spin on your new spring. And before we go any further, I want to show you the FPS results. So this thing stock for me was shooting about 30 FPS right in there, 30, 35, which I mean, again, is not that bad it's not great but it's okay <laughs> so 30 fps again I would, I would love for it to shoot like 80 or something like that so again there's only four screws on the bottom you got to remove takes out the whole plunger assembly once you get the spring off you simply just re kind of thread that uh, spring right back on and while you're in there you know you can take out the air restrictor you can take out the dart post if you want to now, one of the things that I noticed is when I put the spring back in, or the new the new case spring in there, and shot it, I mean, I was getting like 80, 85, which isn't bad. I mean, you know, in the low 80s, but then you're going to notice inside the tip, if you guys want to take out the dart post, you can pretty much just put in, uh, you know, a pair of pliers right down in there. And there's hundreds of videos that go over this. 
and just kind of torque it out, right? Just kind of spin it and it should just pop right out. Now I've seen some people actually get a drill bit and drill all the way down because you're going to notice when you're done doing that, you're going to have this rattling piece that kind of goes back and forth. And on the inside, that is actually, um, when you push the dart back in there, it actually pushes that spring back and lets it so the air would go through, right? So you can actually go in through the bottom with your pliers, grab that spring and kind of just pull it out. And I'll show up the spring here. I mean, it comes out pretty easy. You just got to grab it. And you're going to notice there's that little piece that just kind of goes back and forth in there. And you want to try and get down in there and pull as much as you can of that out. Now, I've seen so many ways of people, the way, you know, people trying to get that thing out. What I ended up doing is actually pushing it so it's all the way down in the back and putting a dab of uh, Gorilla Glue on it so it actually just sticks to the back, right? It's always, the port is always free flowing and open. I would have drilled mine, but I don't, I think I'll probably do that on my next build because again, you know, I just wanted to keep this super simple. And some of you guys are probably going, okay, well, what does this thing shoot now that you, um, you know, you modified it with the air restriction delete and you put the, or you, you updated the actual spring. So check it out here, man. I was hitting 95 all day long. So I'm going to show you the stock one there. I'm going to show you the updated one here. And this thing was just shooting lasers, right? All day long. But one of the things that I noticed, I was blowing heads off darts like you wouldn't believe, man. I was just, I don't know. I mean, and they were like nice. They were the nice darts. So if you could see here, I mean, I got a lot of different darts. I got the bamboos. I got the um, the elites. I got the waffles. I got the e-vikes. Uh, I got the elites. I mean, it didn't matter. I was blowing heads off these things. And I think it's just because there's just so much force coming out of this thing. And um, I don't know. So one of the things I noticed, though, is this thing really likes the bamboo darts and the e-vike darts. Um, the bamboo darts have always consistently performed for me um, on any of my on any of my blasters that I have. So if you really want this thing to shoot fast, I mean, pick up the bamboos. You know, the elite darts are great. The waffle heads are great. I mean, it just is a bruiser now. So hopefully this guide and kind of overview of how you can update the Jolt kind of helps some of you guys out. It is very straightforward to update this thing, and hopefully you guys will kind of upgrade it like mine. I personally would go down to a lower level spring, maybe have it shoot like 80 without doing the air restrictor. And I didn't have any dart head blow offs, but once I took that air restrictor out and kind of locked that little, um, little plastic piece in the back there, dude, this thing was just, is a bruiser. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this. If you guys have updated your jolts, let me know. I would love to know the FPS that you guys are getting with what springs you put in there. Anyways, definitely subscribe guys if you haven't already. Thanks again, Fox fans. <laughs>